everyone. This is Russ. Uh, I'm messing around here. Got my rustic spiral cell kind of sort of set up. But uh, it needs some more work. And it's got a little bitty leak in it. And it's going to drive me freaking crazy. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about Spark Gap. So here it is. Um, basically what I've done is take a piece of Schedule 80 pipe. There it is. Schedule 80 pipe with double sided threads on it. I have got a bottom cap which is flat. And uh, you can see the brass nipples there. Um, what those are are actually air valves. It's just what they had. Um, if I can focus. See there the uh, there's the air inlet. And uh, it's just a quarter inch pipe tap on this side. And the only reason I got these is for the electrical connections. I didn't have a good way for an electrical connection, so there it was on the shelf. Grabbed it, quick little piece. Um, so those are threaded in the bottom. I uh, tapped those out. Uh, they are recessed down in the bottom, you can see. And then this side of these are not threaded, but um, I drilled them out and threaded them. And that way I was able to put a bolt through there. I don't even know what size it is, it's not real small. And then I got these uh, pipe clamps, um, same place, and uh, you can see they're half inch for like copper line or airline or whatever you want to use them for. And uh, then I've just got my electrodes clamped in there. Um, I've also got uh, a gauge on this um, because what I want to do is capsulate this off, close it off uh, airtight, and uh, basically see if I can build up pressure with that arc. Um, I don't really know if you can or not, I'm kind of curious. Uh, these are uh, half inch PEX connectors. You can see my electrodes in there. They're not perfectly uh, aligned yet. They're just kind of in there. And um, that's it. Oh, I got the cap too. I put this on my lathe real quick and turned a hole out. And then uh, glued a piece of plexiglass half inch right inside there. Might need to reseal that. But uh, I have to pressure test it. Then I can just hand screw this on here, with probably with some pipe thread. And uh, here we go. Three, two, one. So there it is. You can see it. Works pretty good. Quieter. Kind of scary. So much quieter than without the lid on it. Just for fun. Kind of holds in the, uh... oh yeah, it smells great. Much quieter. With the lid on, as you can see. Now, you guys, uh, somebody asked me a while back what I was using. Using a neon sign transformer. Ready for 12,000 volts, 24 milliamps. Uh, going through some uh, capacitors. First time I did this, I didn't have the caps, and uh, it makes a big difference with the caps. So just for fun. Anyway, that's it. Like a nuclear fusion reactor, but it won't melt down. Anyway. Alright, this Russ, just a quick little update. Just want to show you what's going on in my messy shop. Uh, Alright, peace. Leave me comments.